Welcome to the realm of cutting edge technology. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to harness the immense power of Google's computing infrastructure right at your fingertips? Well, look no further. For in the digital realm, there exists a phenomenon known as Google Colab, an interesting fusion of cloud computing and collaborative progress. Imagine a world where you can effortlessly explore the limitless possibilities of artificial intelligence, machine learning, and data analysis without the need for expensive hardware or complex setups. Google Colab emerges as a celestial sanctuary, offering a virtual laboratory to experiment, create, and collaborate with like-minded enthusiasts from every corner of the globe. In this exciting video, we will understand what Google Colab is, and then we will have a complete overview of it. So let's start with the first topic. What is Google Colab? Google Colab is a free online tool that lets you do coding and data-related work on the internet. It's like having a virtual notebook where you can write and run Python code without needing to install anything on your computer. With Colab, you can also get data from different places and share your work with others easily. Another cool thing is that it gives you access to powerful processors like GPUs and TPUs, which make tasks like machine learning and data science faster and more efficient. It's a great tool for learning and working on coding and data projects. All right, now let's take a look at Google Colab and do a complete overview of it. So first of all, Google Colab requires a Google account for access. To begin, visit the link. We'll type in Welcome to Collaboratory. So just type in Welcome to Collaboratory, as you can see. And then we click on this. And then we'll click on this. Open this one and sign in using our Google account or credentials. If you already have a Google account, then you can just sign in with that. Okay, so now let's start with Google Colab. Type in Google Colab. Click on this. All right, so this is the window that appears when you click on that. First of all, here we have the example tab. So the example tab offers some initial examples to help you begin using Colab. For a comprehensive understanding of collaboratory features and efficient usage of Colab documents, refer to the document title, Overview of Collaboratory Features. It covers fundamental aspects and, and it'll get you started efficiently. So then there's the Recent tab. Okay, so that displays a collection of all the latest documents that you've been working on. Now, next is our Google Drive tab. The Google Drive tab feature allows you to import any of your previous notebooks directly from your Google Drive. Okay, then next is GitHub tab. So with the GitHub tab, you have the option to import notebooks from your own GitHub repository or any public repository. Simply provide the GitHub URL and you can easily import notebooks from the desired public repository. Then we have the uh, Upload tab. So the Upload feature allows you to bring in and work on your own Jupyter Notebooks that you've created on your computer. You can easily upload any file from your local machine by selecting the Choose File option. So here it is, Choose File option. Next is our Create a Notebook. And as you can see, there's a Notebook option. There's a Cancel option. So to create a notebook, uh, so to create a new notebook, you have the option to use the New Notebook button located at the bottom. By clicking on this button, a new untitled notebook will be generated. To give it a specific name, we simply click on the current type and title name. So I want to name it. So as we've clicked on, yeah, to give it a specific name, as we just said, simply click on the current type and title name on the notebook and make the desired changes. So let's say we want to make it SP1. Let's just type the name. All right. So next is our cell. Here we can see this is a cell. So in a notebook, cells serve as the fundamental building blocks encompassing everything uh, within. There are two types of cells, actually. One is code cell, as you can see. And it contains executable code and has a run button on the left side to execute its content. This one. All right, the output is displayed. Its output is displayed below the code cell after running. The next type of cell, then, is a text cell. So a text cell can include uh, text, images, links, and more. And you can edit its content by double-clicking it. The text cell uh, supports markdown, markup language, but you can also use the provided options at the top for formatting. The right half of the cell shows how your edited text will appear. All right. 
Next, let's take a look at how to add a new cell. To add a new code or text cell, use the respective option at the top of the work area, as you can see here, code or text. By clicking on this, we can add code or text cells. So clicking on any of these buttons creates a, a new cell right below the current one. So let's say we want to add this. And now we want to add this and maybe another. Now you can rearrange the cell order using arrow options located at the top right corner of each cell. As you can see, uh, using the leads, we could do that. Yep. The up arrow moves the cell up one position, while the down arrow moves it down by one position. And as we can see, now adding and running a code. So let's talk about this. So by default, Google Colab provides one initial code cell, which can be supplemented with additional cells as desired. These cells serve as a platform for writing and executing Python code. For instance, let's consider the following code. So first, I need to delete all of these. There we go. So first of all, we'll try one code and see how it goes. We'll just write the code, print, yeah, print. My favorite color is yellow. All right, now let's try to execute it. We can run this by clicking on this. Now it's running, executing. So as you can see, my favorite color is yellow is being printed. So you can either press on this play button to run the code, or you can press control plus enter to run the code. As you can see, control plus enter to run the cell. Now next is changing the order of the cell. So in Google Colab, you have multiple options for rearranging cells. You can utilize the up cell or down cell buttons located at the toolbar above the notebook as we discussed previously. Alternatively, you can employ keyboard shortcuts such as control shift up or control shift down to move the chosen cell up or down. Additionally, uh, you have the flexibility to reorder cells by clicking on the cell number in the left gutter and dragging it to a different position. All right, now deleting the current tab. So to delete the current tab in Google Colab, you can use the delete icon available over the top of the cell. This icon looks like a trash can, and it will remove the selected cell from the notebook. As we can see, this is a trash can located here at the upper right corner of the cell. By clicking on this, we can delete the tab. Alternately, you can also use the keyboard shortcut Control plus M and D to delete the current cell. You can also right-click on the cell and select the Delete Cells from the Context menu, as you can see, Delete Cell. Okay, all right. Now we will understand how to add data sets. So to add data sets from your local device, go to the left corner and click on the folder icon. As we can see, this is the left corner, and this is the folder icon. You can click on that. Now click on the Upload icon and upload the desired file. This is the Upload icon. We click on that. Now we can upload the desired file or whichever we want. Uh, all right, so you can also upload files by writing a particular command. So let's try writing that command. So we'll write from google.colab import file and files. And after that, we'll write upload equals files dot upload and then we'll put brackets we'll press control and enter and here we can see we'll choose files now from here you can choose files so you can upload files both ways now let's look at how to import libraries in google colab so first of all you have to cancel We'll click on this. So to import it, we'll write import pandas as pd. After that, pd.read. So here we're importing the CSV files, actually. So we have to write pd.read underscore CSV. 
And inside this, we'll write a file. Let's say we have to check whatever files, like this is a sample data files, right? So you have to write the file name, which you want to import. Let's see, CSV file name. I'm writing sample underscore data. All right, underscore test. Location, you have to put dot CSV. So this is the location. And if you want to display 10 rows, we'll write df dot head and then 10. We'll press control and enter. And we can see 10 rows are being displayed. So this is how you can import and like showcase the data. So this was a little about Google Colab. It would cover a few major points, but you will see as you explore and start using it on your own that there is so much more there. So after learning a little bit about Google Colab and hearing about various cloud technologies, if you want to become a cloud engineer, check out our postgraduate program in cloud computing. Our comprehensive course covers Microsoft Azure, AWS, GCP, empowering you to employ dynamic and independable applications seamlessly. To discover intricacies of these leading cloud platforms and master core skill sets needed for success. Join us to transform your career and step confidently into the world of cloud computing. Enroll now and embark on an exciting journey towards a bright future in the cloud industry. Don't miss this opportunity. All right. With that, we've come to the end of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope it really helped you all. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and keep learning. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital or programs, and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.